If you have leftover mashed potatoes in your fridge right now and you don't know what to do with them, then you have to make these leftover mashed potato biscuits. Because in these hard times, no one wants to throw away food. And these biscuits are so good, I'm willing to bet you'll purposely make too many mashed potatoes just so you can make them. It starts off with all the same dry ingredients every biscuit recipe calls for. Flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, a little salt. And then you want to add in your fats. In this case, we're going to use butter and lard. If you don't want to use lard, you could use vegetable shortening, or you could even use all butter if you want to. And while a pastry blender does work great for this, the best tool to use is your finger. So go ahead and get in there and cut in those fats until you get a mixture that resembles coarse oats. You don't want it too fine, yet you don't want big chunks of butter either. Now we're going to add in our leftover mashed potatoes, and these are cold straight from the fridge. I have here about one and a quarter cups, and you want to cut this in pretty much the same way you did the butter and the lard. Just kind of rub it in with your fingers until most of the potato disappears. The more lumps of potato you can get out of this, the better your biscuits will be. Now into a measuring cup goes half a cup of milk or buttermilk, which is better. And then you want to whisk in one egg and pour this over your dry ingredients. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you haven't yet subscribed, then please consider doing so and don't forget to hit the little bell. If your dough is a little on the dry side, add a tablespoon or two of water to bring it together. And now on a lightly floured surface, you're ready to roll it out. I usually just pat this out, but you can use a rolling pin if you like a really even surface. And you can definitely use a cookie cutter for this, but I find cutting it in squares much better because you avoid scraps. You can easily get 12 biscuits out of this, but I like going for nine slightly larger ones. The closer together these are, the softer your biscuits are gonna be. Brush a little bit of milk on the top, that'll help just a little bit with the browning, and bake them at 425 Fahrenheit for 15 to 18 minutes, even longer if you like them more on the brown side. The best time to enjoy these is right now, fresh from the oven. And while they might not look very pretty, this recipe helped me get rid of some leftovers. These were super cheap to make and they taste phenomenal. You can use them for sandwiches, they make great dinner rolls. The next time you make chicken pot pie, this would be a perfect top crust. There's so many ways you can enjoy biscuit dough, but my favorite thing to do is to just bake them up like this with a little butter and maybe some jam. How do you like your biscuits? Let me know in the comments and whatever you do, don't throw away those mashed potatoes.